You sure do like to To your opinions talking big like Somebody's listening Nobody's listening Max! 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 Oh! 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 Hello there! I did this video after 9 rounds and after 20 rounds I think, a few weeks ago. I'm doing it now again for the regular season, the final time where I can rank and rate every team season based on how they've done, uh, all 18 teams. And uh, I guess at the end of the final series I'll rank the final 8 teams. So yeah, the third time we're doing this, but this time obviously it's the full season in context. So uh, Hawthorne, my Hawks are still up there. We are exceeding. We are punching. We shouldn't be there, but we are there. We're in the eights. We're in the finals. Uh, we played incredible football to get there. So, uh, you know, we, we had some brilliant form. Um, not as many wins against the top teams, especially top four. Better record against fifth to eighth, but not the greatest record against top four. But still, we had some great wins and they were by big margins too. So, uh, scored a lot of goals. And uh, we looked very impressive and we'll be very dangerous. Having said that, we are playing the Bulldogs, who are also very good and very uh, dangerous. So that game could be anything. But for sure, in terms of this video, we are exceeding. There's no question about it. No one thought we'd be here in 2024. Maybe after a few years, not in 2024, but here we are. I'm very excited. I'm actually more confident about this than I, am in, than I was in 2018. In 2018, we made top four somehow. We won our last six, seven games in a row, I think. Incredible form. Finals out on straight sets. We did play Richmond first week. Second week, though, it was a good Melbourne team, but I felt we could have done better in that game. Um, but I feel more confident this year than that year. Having said that, we could still lose in week one. We don't have an easy opponent. So <laughs> we shall find out, but it should be a good game at the MCG, possibly the game of the round. But enough about what I think about the Hawks. This is about expectations and how each team did. Fremantle! When I did this video, clearly last, I think 20 rounds or whatever, they were like top four or something. Well, just bad. Why can't I click it? What's going on? Uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> I was on the right. I was on the right screen. I'm moving around later, but for now, just you know, after considering where they were, they had an overall good season for the most part. And at one point, it looked like they were very close to Sydney, and they were in the top four. Some Freo fans talked about minor premiership. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say who in my comments, but I think some of you know who I'm talking about. Um, but they were top four. They were looking good. And they crashed out the eight. And on the last day against Port, Port were good. Port were better. But Frio, so many opportunities to, you know, really cause Port a lot of problems. They threw that game away. It's just, it's like they didn't want it. It's like they didn't want it. It didn't feel like they fought for it enough. Uh, but either way, considering the context of the season, for them to just flop out of the eights and to get given an opportunity as well because Carlton lost and still not make it. They can't be anywhere higher than this. So, <laughs> also, this is based on obviously standards and expectations, and not based on like, oh, um, it's not based on uh, ladder, the ladder position, of course. We're basing it on relativity and we're basing it on the actual team, where they should be and where they are compared to where they should be. Uh, Sydney, I'm gonna say, I don't know why they're up there. Why are they up there? Like, they're having a great season, sure, but why are they? In, why, why did I put them there? <laughs> Is it because they lost a few games? It's probably because of that. Obviously, most of the season they dominated. Uh, apart from the Richmond loss, they were winning game after game. And then eventually they started losing more games. And they all came like in quick succession as well in a short period of time. They, they went from looking unbeatable to looking like definitely a grand final team to 
looking very beatable. They went from unbeatable to very beatable, so... I'm going to still put them in doing great, even though they lost a few games recently. Considering how they lost those games, and considering a few of those games were in a row, they dominated the season and started losing a few games in a row. Considering that, they still made the eight. They still fought and made the eight towards the last few games of the season. That Collingwood game was a major moment uh, in both team seasons, Collingwood included. Um, but despite them dropping in form and losing a bit of confidence, I still rate them for still getting first place. So definitely not exceeding, but it's where they should be. After the loss of grand final two years ago, after they got blown away by Geelong, I had a feeling they'd be back at some point. Obviously, the next year they were pretty bad, but people were comparing them to like the Giants and Adelaide who got smashed in grand finals and, you know, they went downhill. Sydney, I felt, had a stronger squad to deal with that. And, uh, well, it's been two years, but they have dealt with it quite well. And in the finals, well, it's up to them to prove that they can do it. So, you know, it's four, possibly three games if they win in week one. Um, it's, it's on them to go and prove uh, that they are the real deal. But I think doing great, they finished first. So I'm not going to say, oh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm going to put them here. They, they, they finished first. <laughs> I'll give them the credit for that. Uh, Brisbane Lions. I don't think fifth is where they should be. I think they should be top four. And uh, I think they'll know that. Uh, for sure. And the main reason is the start of the season. That's that's the main reason. Obviously, they could have done better in the last couple of games. But obviously, they went on a nine-game nine win streak um, after the second buy round. They lost two in a row. Then they won. That's great finals form. It's the first half of the season where they just... I don't know what it was. Lost the grand final by four points. I said five points a couple of videos. A Brisbane fan corrected me. It was only four points. Still under a goal. Um, they lost the grand final. They didn't get blown away. But still, it looked like they were a different team at the start of the season. They lost completely. They lost confidence. They just weren't the team. They were a shadow of the team that they were. And I don't know what happened. But after the buy round, they looked great. But the first half of the season, at one point, it looked like season over. Like, that's what it looked like for them. They, had, they didn't have many... They won a few games. Maybe the Melbourne win was very impressive. But aside from the Melbourne win, they, looked, they, didn't, they didn't look too impressive in any game. So, and they were struggling to cope for an entire game as well. There was always a couple of quarters where they'd not, not play very well. Run out of steam. But uh, they recovered well. But are they where they should be? Based on standards. I feel like this video doesn't go a bit a bit wayward sometimes because I'm judging some teams based on the season and other teams based on what was expected of them to start the season. But I kind of got to mix it up sometimes. I'm going to make another category. Who cares what colour it is? Should be higher. This is, this is the Brisbane uh, tier. I'm going to put them there. Western Bulldogs. I'm going to stick it. I'm going to keep them there. Um, maybe they should be... I mean, I think they should be a finals team. They should be a finals team. Uh, they have been a finals quality team uh, for a couple of years. They, sh they should have made it last year. It's their own fault for not making it last year. Uh, but the finals is where the Bulldogs should be. Maybe top four is a little too nice. So I'm going to keep them there. But yeah, the minimum they should be in the eight. So based on their quality and how they play, and look look at their percentage on the uh, AFL ladder, you know what, I should get that up for the video sake, shouldn't I? <laughs> Quick. <laughs> I should have this ready anyway. Um, but yeah, look, look at that percentage. Look at that percentage. Almost as high as Sydney's, higher than third place Brisbane. Obviously, other percentages aren't that impressive compared to them. But obviously, I'm not judging them entirely based off that but uh when you look at it their one went off third it's pretty good <laughs> it's pretty good if Rio had to actually won they would have been one point one win off uh, second place i'm just saying uh one one win off third with a better percentage uh that that is that is telling um and there's plenty of games where 
they probably should have won, but they just couldn't kick straight. And that's a problem Bulldogs have. Uh, but yeah, this is why I think they'll be a tough opponent for us. I think we can beat them, but I think they can beat us. That's why I'm worried. It's, it doesn't help that I'm wearing a blue shirt, but you know, we, we got we got the hockey ball over there. So, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, but yeah, look, they're a very good team. They're a very good team. When, when, when they play well, they play well. They should be in the eights. That's where they should be. Okay. Uh, GWS. They're in the top four. Maybe it should be higher, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah because they made the top four. I'm gonna put them where they should be. I think they they have the quality to be in the top four, and that's where they are. So <laughs> that's where they should be. Uh, Port Adelaide. Hmm. They're definitely not doing okay. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. They're definitely not doing okay. They're not moving down. They're moving up. Uh, they're definitely not here, I don't think. I don't think they're first place worthy. But, you know, second place. I'm going to put it exceeding. It could have been here. I'm going to put it exceeding. Because for me personally, I did not expect them in second place. Possibly maybe scraping fourth. In the eight, definitely I could have seen that. I'm pretty sure I picked them in the eight. I, I'll, I'll get to that video soon. I'll react to my other predictions. Uh, but, yeah, even though, like, you know... Regular season, they're all right. You know, they don't always like. I feel like they can't maintain the whole season. They always have these bad runs of form, either towards the end when it gets really. That's that's when it's the worst, or it could be another part of the season. Uh, but they're not a bad regular season team. Finals definitely should improve. That definitely should improve. But you know, uh, second place, I think it's higher than where they should be. But if they were fourth, maybe I would have like changed it a bit. But yeah. They're a finals worthy team and uh, they've proven that they're in second place. They played very well the last few games end of the season They've been very good if they can carry that form into the finals well <laughs> They'll be tough to beat but obviously they gotta Awaken that monster in the finals because they tend to Under pressure that they're, they're not the best in the final series specifically, but uh, it's up to them to prove us wrong uh, It's up to Ken Hinckley as well to prove us prove a lot of us wrong including myself included uh, because I'm not sure um, he is the man to win them premierships. But uh, again, just like with Sydney, it's on Port Adelaide, on the coach and the players to uh, <laughs> prove everyone wrong. So we shall find out. Carlton, um, I'm going to put doing okay, like considering how they've been this season. Similar, similar to Frio, they were a very strong team. They were a top four team, second half of the season, not so much. They have made the eight. They scraped it. If Frio didn't choke, they would have missed out. They would have been where Frio are. <laughs> but, you know, that's just, that's the game. They've had similar seasons, but one's in the eight and one isn't. So, I'm going to put them at doing okay. Um, and I'm partly factoring in their standards based on the look at last, last year or two. They literally were in the prelim last year and they were 30 points up or something in, in the first quarter yes they lost that in in the end anyway because the lines were too strong for them uh but doing okay i think it's like i think maybe i'm being nice because i feel like they're underachieving based on their recent standards but i'm gonna stick to doing okay just based on also i'm basing it i'm factoring in also how the season has gone for them and they probably shouldn't be in the eight considering their recent form, but they're there. So I'm not going to put them below that if they're in the eight. Uh, Geelong. Um, I'm going to say doing great, but where they should be. I don't know, actually. I don't think they're exceeding. I I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with that, especially when you consider how tight the ladder is. Based on last year, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Not based on last year. I didn't expect them as high as third. Same with Port in second. Similar to Port in second, I didn't expect them as high as uh, third. But are they exceeding? Obviously they're in the top four, but they're only a win ahead of seventh. But so are the Giants. <laughs> and I put the Giants obviously here as well. I'm going to put them there. I'm trying to think about the season as a whole. 
They've had a very similar season to the Giants. In fact, they got identical records apart from the percentage. Um, they both had a great start. They were both the top two. And then they both fell off a little bit for a little bit. Then they came back, finished the season strong. I think the Giants have been more impressive in their comeback than, than Geelong. But Geelong, to their credit, they're above the Giants percentage. And they're up third place. Um, and they got their double chance. I'm going to put them. I'm going to leave them there. I'm going to leave them there. It's just that the reason I'm doubting myself is, for me, the Giants are clearly better. And, and I promise you that's not my bias because I'm a Hawks fan. I just feel like the Giants are more impressive than, Ge than Geelong. But I'm going to leave it like that. All right. North Melbourne. Yeah, doing bad where they should be, I'm going to say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Suns as well. Uh, for sure. West Coast. Just looking at the season in general, I'm just going to put them here. Um, I think they will improve over time. It will take a little while. I think next year they'll be better than 16th. I think they might be like... They're not going to be a finals contender for sure. But there'll be a few positions higher, I think. I think, I think they'll be better next year. But... 16th is still doing bad. They've been bad for three years. Um, I think they'll accept that, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I'm going to put Gold Coast at the bottom of that, though, because I just don't rate them. And I think they've shown, like, once again, that they're not good enough. Even though they have been very strong at home with a waveform like that. What can you say, really? Uh, St. Kilda, underachievers. This should be two tiers, really, but it's fine. I'll put the underachievers at the top. Bad at the bottom, okay? St. Kilda are underachievers. Um, I I think they're better than that. I think they're better than that. Uh, Richmond, underachievers. Yes, they've been terrible. Uh, but two wins terrible is... <laughs> I don't think... People, people could have seen them coming last, but two wins the whole season is kind of crazy. One win against first place as well is kind of insane. That was like in the early rounds too. Like I was in Australia when this happened. <laughs> I was, I was hol on holiday for rounds, opening round, round ones and round, rounds one and two. The first three rounds of the season I was in Australia and that's when Richmond beat Sydney. So like, <laughs> that's a long time ago. That was in March when they got their first win and since then they got just one extra win. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know they've been bad, but they're better than that. I feel that I feel like there's a better team than that in there somewhere. Adelaide definitely underachievers. Last year they almost made the eight. Maybe they should have done. They definitely should have been better better this season. I don't know what's happened to them, but uh, there you go. They've just fallen off really badly, and uh, that's their standards. The only teams that have been worse are these three. So that's just that's embarrassing. Like, that, that's nothing short of embarrassing considering it looks very promising based off last year. What's happened? They've completely fallen off. They got a few wins here and there, showed signs, but obviously by then it was too late. So it is what it is. Uh, Essendon, uh, I mean, uh, come on. Just like Freo and Carlton, very similar. They were up there and they've dropped down. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what else can you say? They, just like Freo, they've thrown their season away. I guess Frio's throwaway was a bit more dramatic, but Essendon did lose a couple of games at Marvel that were very miserable for them. And considering how impressive they looked in some of the games start of the season, it's a big fall off. Melbourne, obviously underachievers. They were a top four team the last, what, three years? Three years, I think. Um, obviously, two straightest exits. And before that, obviously, they won the flag. Two straightest exits can... That can... Thwart your confidence, but 14th is way below where they should be, regardless of their confidence. Collingwood as well, they're literally the premiers, and they've not made it. So, how can they not be here? <laughs> I think even the Magpies fans would agree that winning the flag and then not making the eight is just not good. <laughs> and then you got Frio. So, uh, right, how do I base this on standards? Uh, For me, they've been worse than Collingwood, but considering Collingwood have higher standards than both of these, I have to put them there because they're too good <laughs> to not to not, to win the flag and to not and to miss out in the A is just like no sir. Uh, Melbourne as well as well because Melbourne I think as well just like Collingwood 
much better teams than these two, and yet they are where they are. I mean, Melbourne are 14th for flip's sake. I'll put them there, to be honest. Um, Fremantle can stay there, I guess. Now, Adelaide have been worse than Richmond, for sure. Yeah, I'll put that. I'll put that. Because the St. Kilda finished, what, 13th? It's still bad. But, yeah. At least they didn't, like, be in the top four and then drop down. <laughs> they've, just been, they've just been not so good throughout the season. But they look good towards the end, though. Especially in that Geelong game. Um, this one... Yeah... I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there because their standards are higher than them and their standards should be higher than both of these based on the last two years. Uh, so, yeah. And obviously, these two are in their own category on their own. Um, Giants, where they should be. Yeah, there you go. And then exceeding. For me, we are exceeding the most because we are... If you look at the eight right now, we are the most shouldn't be their team there <laughs> that's there <laughs> i know people will disagree because of our form including hawks fans i'm a hawk fan my hawks fan myself but i'm also realistic looking at the eight right that makes sense okay maybe higher than they should be but them in the eight doesn't surprise me at all same here i mean of course <laughs> i put i said them to be i put i tipped them to win the flag so of course they're there uh brisbane grand finalists literally come on bulldogs very good team they missed out last year of course i get that but there are finals quality team carlton obviously they've not really earned their place to be honest this year but their standards are higher than ours of the from the last few years we are like maybe carlton as well but we shouldn't be there <laughs> but we are there <laughs> we shouldn't be there but there we are we you can see it there we are there. In my opinion, you can disagree. In my opinion, there is more pressure on every other team in the eight than us. More pressure. There is more pressure on these lot. These lot. Definitely these lot. Definitely these lot. Definitely them. <laughs> and them, based on two years ago. There's more pressure on those six teams I've pointed out than us. Uh, in the finals. More pressure on Geelong. The reason I didn't mention Geelong as much. Because they've won a flag recently. A couple years ago. I feel like they have less of a point to prove. Than the other six I've mentioned. The point is. Those six teams I mentioned. They have more of a point to prove. There's pressure on them. To deliver success. There's pressure on us as well. Yeah sure. But there's more pressure on those six. To deliver success. There's a bit of pressure on Geelong. It's definitely more than us. We have the least pressure on us. And I hope our players see it that way. Because they've got a young squad that's inexperienced from finals footy. Hopefully, they just realise that. Hopefully, they don't feel the pressure too much. Hopefully, they realise that the other seven teams have more, more pressure on them than, than we do. Hopefully, they go out of confidence. Hopefully, they realise that we've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Go for it. Be brave. Go for it. Don't crack under pressure because whatever happens, we've had a great season and I hope the players see that. So, uh, yeah, this has also been a kind of a finals preview and about 10 minutes longer than I thought it would be this video, to be honest. But, uh, you know, I had to talk about it a lot. So uh, I'll see you soon because I got some tabs open and obviously I'm going to react to certain videos I made before the start of the season and uh, looking at some comments as well. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And yeah, this is my final tier list. Goodbye. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you